Feels like it's gonna be another cold one tonight. My beard feels like it's already starting to ice over. Hey, mister. Happy New Year's everyone. It's New Year's Day. Me and my wife and baby Alice decided to go on a walk this afternoon. My wife and Mr. Ellis turned back about halfway down the field because we had dinner in the oven and it was starting to get a little bit dark. And so she headed back home to finish up making dinner and get home before it got dark. And me and my dog Issa here kept on walking down to the river. Just wanted to check on the cows and see how they're doing and make sure they still had some water flowing, but you can see we still got some water flowing through here. And I'm gonna just clean out this little chunk of broken ice and slush and clean that out. I wanna come down here and check on the water because it was probably close to 10 below this morning down here, I'd guess. So I just wanted to make sure they had enough water and still able to drink. Yeah, this lady here coming to get her fill. Everything seems to be fine down here. I wanna walk over here where the feeders are and just kind of see about how much hay we got left then i'll decide i'm gonna have to come back down here with the tractor and the wagons but from looking just from here it looks like they still got plenty of hay for at least another five or six days we'll just chip this out and do a little round and be on our way here's a good look at the river you can see how much is frozen so the water is usually you know flowing all the way along the banks here there's a little little island there but all this is ice so that's ice that's ice that's ice Ooh, thought I about lost my shovel and that's ice and all this is ice through here too so I just try to I just fight the ice all winter and just try to keep this spot here open looking down river same thing here this is all ice then, you know, the fastest moving part of the river is what stays open. But even on some of those really cold mornings where we get 30, 40 below, this whole river will almost freeze, freeze over. There won't hardly be any water moving. But luckily we haven't got that cold yet this year and who knows, maybe we won't, but we always get, you know, 20 below. That's pretty common. We'll have a week or two worth of that. And on occasion we'll get 30 and 40 below. So what I ended up doing the other day to help me with my ice problem is this bottom rail here on this panel is pretty much rotted off. So I just tore the rest of that piece off. So I got rid of that rail. Then this older green panel here, I just picked it up and lifted it up out of the water. So you know, it's sticking up a foot and a half above this other panel. But what that helps me with is, so now the only thing that's in the water is just that one single leg right there so that's where your water will start to ice up because it slows the water down and it'll start icing up on the you know the up river side and then you know soon enough you have a big ball of ice there and it catches the debris and catches the, the ice that floats down the river see i maybe you can see up there but if you look if you look closer up here you, you can see all that ice just floating down the river and then so if you get a slow spot or if you get something up here that slows that water down and catches all that ice floating down the river, you know, eventually it'll slow your water down and then it'll just freeze solid. It'll become just like this ice shelf right here. Because this water here isn't hardly moving. So, and that's what happens and all your whole water will freeze. So that's helped me out a lot is just having that one foot there in the water. And then that one there, that just, that sits up maybe couple inches above the water there so that one doesn't build up much ice either here's one of our beefs for next year steer i think steer number five and there's another beef up there steer oh so this one oh here so steer number 10 and that one up there is steer number five they look pretty much the same i get mixed up but yep there'll be beefs next year let's go finish our rounds before it gets dark on us we get home and get some dinner get us to bed so this feeder here is the one that i put the silage bale in 
So if you look around, all these, all these other feeders are pretty much full. That one's still got a full bale in it. That one's still got a full bale. They've been working on that one. So you can tell what kind of hay they like the most. Yeah, they love that silage hay. It's just, I don't know what it tastes like to them, but sure smells good, even to me. I like the smell of it. I know they love eating it. We'll walk over here a little bit further and check on our other feeders. Well, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Not sure if I'll make this into just a single video or we'll add something to it later on. So I guess we'll see what happens tomorrow and throughout the week. So I stopped here by the watering hole real quick to check on the ice and doing all right. I chipped away a little bit of ice that built up around here. What I'm working on now is right here. A little stream here starting to freeze over up here. I'm just trying to clear a little spot, you know, so it can run down right through here, keep flowing through here, keep my water flowing through those panels. So I'm actually standing in the middle of the river. So this whole chunk right here is all ice. So I'll just tip this away and hopefully I can keep all this running through here. So this is how thick some of that ice is that I'm chipping out of here. What's that? Four inches or so? See, that's four inches. Yeah, it's pretty thick. I just don't want to you know, let it freeze up too much and then it'll dam off my water and, and my whole watering trough here where my cow's drink will be frozen. So I just try to keep it open the best I can. It's a pretty good workout. I think that should work out. We're supposed to stay fairly warm the rest of this week, about mid 20s, low 30s, because we're supposed to be getting a lot of snow, so it's not gonna be too cold. But you know, we were down to 10 below or something last couple mornings, so that's probably why this is all frozen up. And but that should work for us. I got enough flow going through here that this will eventually you know, eat back some of the ice and kind of do the work for me. And I hope I'm hoping up there that. It'll do the same thing. That's pretty thick up there and I couldn't get that all chipped out. So I'm hoping that current from the water will work away and work, work its way through there eventually. So real quick, I just wanted to show you guys. It's been a few days since I've been down here and it's been about 15 below the last few mornings. And I just wanted to show you how the water looks and what happens here. So you can see how much the water's dropped. Since it's got so cold, step down here, I'll show you. See this ice ledge right here in front of us? See that? See how much the water's dropped there? Then looking up here where I was where I was chipping that channel out, you can see how much it's dropped through there. You know that water's a good six inches below the ice that I chipped out. And looking up the river pretty frozen same thing looking down the river the whole river is iced over down there so it's been pretty cold here's this other ice shelf right here that. yeah that's a pretty good ice shelf so we've lost a good eight inches or so a good eight inches or so of water just frozen and you know what happens is the river starts to freeze and just backs up all the water and it slows the flow so it's just start losing water and it freezes up that's why I try to keep a pretty close eye on this down here don't want my cows going without water
just about home. About 300 more yards. All right, made it back home. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Talk to y'all later.